just like anything that's this involved, you really have to immerse yourself in it to understand it. The minute my feet left that airplane, it was like pure bliss. Like it was like right where I needed to be. I felt like my whole life had led up to that moment. We jump out of planes. If you take the parachutes away, it's about the people you work with. Whenever I decided to do this professionally, I made a promise to myself that if this ever just became a job, that I was done. My name is John Osborne. My friends call me Oz. I've got a little over 3,200 skydives. My name's Clint Moore. I've got about 7,000 skydives. My name is Andrew Clemens. I have 164 skydives and counting. My name is Thomas Hughes. I've got about 19,000 jumps. One of my best skydiving memories was winning the World Championships jumping over Dubai in 2012. I had goals when I started skydiving, uh, big lofty goals. I wanted to be a world champion, a national champion. I wanted to be the absolute best at what I could do. I'm able to now give back to everybody that um, has helped me and help them progress into their skydiving goals. Everybody wants to kind of coach me and I like that. I can listen to other people and take in the knowledge that they have and kind of de decipher what, um, what I want to take away from it and apply to my skydives. It's a cool feeling having a big support system that wants to help out the new kid instead of shun the new kid away. Well, the team here, like, we're all fast friends, you know? You become friends real quick. I like to cook dinner for a lot of people. I'm pretty much the drop zone chef, so I like to cook dinner for people, make it a lot more social, so it's not just about work, it's about hanging out with good people. A lot of us live in a communal area. We all live pretty close to each other, so we're always going out and doing things together as a group. Living on site at the skydive facility has been amazing. I get home from work and there'll be, you know, 15 other people hanging out on the deck. It's awesome um, having, you know, that family feeling out here and all my friends just a doorstep away. We've got a really good team here in San Marcos. That's what's really kept me here, you know, uh, we jump out of planes. If you take the parachutes away, it's about the people you work with, right? And so it's like any job. Uh, it's a really cool job, but yeah, it really comes down to the team and the people you work with and the people you work for. There's definitely a bond between people who do this professionally and, and the way that we've kind of attributed it, not quite to this extreme, is uh, imagine a group of people going into combat together. They experience a high stress, high energy, um, high impactful situation. And it's a very select group of people that do it. So we have that similar sort of bond where we feel very close and connected um, and we've always got each other, other's backs. You have a group of individuals where our, our lives somewhat depend on each other, right? We have to be safe. We, we have to be in the right mindset and we have to trust that our friends are in that mindset. So whenever you relinquish that amount of trust to someone, almost unwillingly, maybe someone you know really well, maybe someone you've been doing this for a very long time with, maybe someone you just met. You know, to me, that's what develops a camaraderie that you can't get rid of, one that's just unspoken and unheard of anywhere else. There's a wide range of men and women, different ages. They have different life stories. And we all have these loving hearts. Like, that's just something that comes with a skydiver. Like, once you get into the community, you kind of, like, see that, that, like, everybody, their first instinct is to, like, love somebody. So it's cool to gain knowledge from people like that. I'm 25 years old and literally feel like this is the happiest time of my life. I owned my own business in Australia, so it was like managing people and just constantly grinding. I decided that really wasn't for me and what I wanted from my life. So I thought, right, what is it that I really want to do? And I broke it down into, I just wanted to smile every day. So I sold my company and traveled around the world and I smile every day now. One of my favorite parts about being an instructor, um, really specifically, is just the connection, the, the people that I'm meeting on a daily basis. You know, every one of those people, their life changed that day. And that makes me feel very humble to know that that, that impact is something that, that's going to echo in the back of their mind for the rest of their life. On most days, we have people show up that have said that it's their dream, right? It's their dream to skydive. They might just want to do it once, they might want to learn how to do it. So we're making dreams come true. How many people get to do that in their job? I took this lady for her 70th birthday and 
it, she had been waiting for a long time to go skydiving and uh, you know just being able to take someone on that experience someone that, that has been waiting 20 30 years you know that there's people that come out when they're 18 19 years old you know and they think they've been waiting for a long time but someone that that's really been working on building up that courage for a long time and being able to experience that is probably one of the best things I think for me. I can't imagine what I would be doing if I weren't skydiving. Maybe a plumber or I, I don't know something, um, a road surveyor. Or, I have no idea, but I can't imagine that my quality of life would be very good. I've now met my wife through skydiving. We've got two beautiful children from skydiving. Um, we're very happy with where we are and our, our jobs. My wife also works for the company that I work for. So our whole family is uh, based around skydiving. Skydiving is about finding who you are on the inside. And if that's something you're curious about, then I encourage you to face your fears. We're, we're, we're all afraid. We're all nervous when we jump out of an airplane. That, that means we're people. That means we have emotions. That means we have feelings. That's a natural thing. But being able to overcome that and being able to realize who you are, you know, there, there's a lot of people that die not knowing who they are, not knowing if they can face those fears. I remember like when I was a newer jumper driving to the drop zone, I'd have like butterflies in my stomach, you know, like super excited, super nervous. And now with like 7,000 jumps, I'm not nervous anymore. You've got to be respectful of it, right? You know, at the end of the day, People show up and they're nervous here, and I tell them it's just respect for what we're about to do. It's still almost like day one sometimes. Um, I, I think I can cover it up a little bit better than others now. You know, I, I can breathe through being nervous a little bit better, but it hasn't lost a bit of the adrenaline or a bit of the excitement. Every time I get in the door of that airplane, I'm ready to go, and I still got to take that deep breath and do it. Where do I hope skydiving takes me? This is a loaded question for me because it's kind of co constantly evolving. We have a very special one here, but I know that there's other communities out there too, and I wanna meet those people and just kind of experience everything that the world has to offer. And um, I, I wanna spread these wings and fly. And I think that that would be the best way to do it. As far as I can see, my future is exactly what it's been the last six years. I, I'm gonna keep on throwing people out of airplanes and having a great time doing it.